My name is Christian Quinn, and I'm a student here at Skadra Valley College. I'm in, this is my first year in the program, and I want to become an electrician, that's why I'm here. This quarter, we worked on some of the boats that you might see in the background, and throughout the quarter, we've kind of set up a couple of simulations of what you might see on a boat uh, in terms of batteries and installed and cables that are on them. And um, today, I'm gonna kind of sh walk you through what we would do if we are asked to come down to a boat and install a new battery. Um, so as you come down, you're going to look at the look at the cables coming off and I'm going to pull this wing nut off and I have We are allowed to have up to four cables max on one terminal and here I have four um, We clearly have one that's bigger than six gauge wire and it was held on with a wing nut Which is a no-go in ABYC So I will be using the correct bolt when we install that um also, I have no idea why a yellow wire is on the positive terminal. That would normally be on the negative. Uh, but again, the owner doesn't want me to rewire the entire boat. So I'm going to keep it as is. And so today we're getting into tech tip number 12. And that is keeping the cables coming off your battery post organized. And so what we're going to do, uh, the owner might have me come out, tell me he needs to change the battery, and it's going to take me a day to get the battery. I won't come back till tomorrow morning. So to save myself the hassle, I'll just put a zip tie through the ring terminals on these battery cables, and that will ensure that I don't get mixed up. I can put a piece of masking tape on here saying it's the positive post, and I'll have one for the negative post, keep it all organized. There we have it. All the cables are together. Now I come back tomorrow morning, there's no trouble, I'm not like sitting here looking at, oh I think this might be the positive. This seems good, I'll cut it off and I will put them back on. Now when you put battery, when you put conductor terminals, ring terminals on a battery post, you want to make sure that you go from largest to smallest on the bottom. So we'll just work our way up here and then I am going to use the correct nut this time as we install this and if you remember tech tip number six I believe we had the battery safe uh, wrenches that we can use they won't come in contact with the other post on the battery and it is also dipped in plastic and so that just keeps us safe as we're working on batteries tech tip number 12 thanks for joining us have a good one